Get off me. Get off me. I ran. I ran faster than I could think about what I was doing. She was in danger, and it was my fault. It wasn't your fault. Stay still, Bessie. You're a liar. You're a liar. Don't touch me. You knew this was going to happen. I thought I was safe. You told me I was safe. You are. Perrin will be here soon. It will only hurt for a moment. Did you find her? I found her just in time. What's going on? Adams? You shouldn't be here, sweetheart. You can't sacrifice her. This doesn't concern you. Help me! What's going on? I know what you're doing. Let her go. That won't be possible. She's innocent. Exactly. She's perfect. You weren't going to let them hurt her. No. You got her out. I thought fast. I knew Nora was weak, so I punched her and knocked her out cold. Perrin was harder. I could tell he could fight. Think very carefully about your next step, Anastasia. Calling me by my name won't change anything. I won't let you do this. He hit me. He put his hand on my mouth. I kicked him into the mirror at the side of the room and he fell. He was weak and it gave me time to think. I punched him again and again and again until he wasn't moving. But he was alive. Of course. I'm not a killer. I untied Bessie from the chair she was tied to and got her out of there. She was hurt. I wasn't sure where. Thank you. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm sorry they tried to do that to you. I, I didn't think it was my turn. When did you arrive here? Girls that are born here can't be sacrificed. I was a baby. You told me the man you lived with was your dad. He looks after me. He works with Perrin. I didn't know they were planning anything. Where did we go? It's going to be okay. Fable! Professor? Diana! What's happened? She was about to be sacrificed, but I stopped it. You stopped a sacrifice? It was just Nora and Perrin. I punched them. I like you. She's hurt. Where does it hurt? My ribs. All right, let's check you over. Fable? Adam stopped a sacrifice. Perrin won't like that. He won't wake up for a while. I punched him. A lot. She's hurt. Let's see. They lifted up her top, and on her ribs, there was a brand. Someone had branded her. It was a circle, and inside was the Tree of Life, but it was broken, and there was a lighthouse on fire, and some words I didn't understand. What is that? She's been branded. Is it bad? I've never seen branding like this. What does it mean? She's been promised to the lighthouse. No matter where she goes, she has to be next. The further away she is taken from the place she was branded, the more pain she'll be in. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. She's not, right? Fable, what do we do? The obvious thing would be to remove it, but I don't know how deep it goes. If I cut in too deep, she'll lose too much blood. What if we protect her? Give her something to take the pain away and keep her here? When Perrin wakes, he'll come searching for her, and he'll bring others. He knows his town better than anyone. He didn't come to look for her. I stayed there all night. Bessie was given medication to stop her feeling the pain. Perrin must have woken up, but he didn't come to look for her. It made me feel uneasy. The next morning, I walked into town and saw Perrin and Nora, but they stood in a crowd of residents gathered around something. Music played. A cymbal crashed. They were all chanting. There was a second of silence. 
Then the crowd cheered and they all started to pray and face the lighthouse. When the crowd dispersed, Perrin and Nora looked at me. Nora smiled. Perrin winked. There was a girl. There was a girl I'd never seen before lying on a slate table. What happened to her? I can't say. It's important that you tell me everything. She was dead. They hadn't searched for Bessie because they'd found someone to take her place. They stabbed her so hard, her chest exploded, and her eyes had come out of their sockets. They just left her there. I wondered how many other girls like me were on that island. She looked so young. Her dress was red, but it started off white. She was wearing a flower crown. That was when things changed. I was done with just accepting things that happened and not doing anything to stop it. Ember Green Bay was a bad place full of bad people doing horrific things to young girls and I was going to save everyone and get them off the island even if it killed me. Everything revolved around the lighthouse. So that's where I had to go. Embergreen Bay, Episode 5, Save Bessie. The voice of Adams was Sarah Gordon. The voice of Diana was Rachel Clark. The voice of Man was Paul Kandarian. The voice of Fable was Mike Garnder. The voice of Bessie was Brianna Orange. The voice of Nora was Julie Broadbent. The voice of Perrin was David Juarez. The music was written and composed by Rebecca Doherty. It was written, directed, and edited by Ella Moscroft and is a Loud Voices Silent Streets production.